Master Paco Vallejo from Spain. And well, as you might know, I'm streaming a lot lately. I've started to stream much more than previously. Uh, today, actually, I thought normally I'm playing a lot of Blitz and trying to, well, to help people understand a little bit better about chess. But today I wanted to actually show, starting uh, show, uh, well, showing uh, one of the games I played in the Chinese League not long ago. It was a very interesting game, and uh, it was against the twenty three hundred player, and it has a very interesting uh, X ray uh, thematic. I'm just checking my phone. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, I'm I'm wearing the. the T-shirt of uh, Real Madrid, which I bought. Uh, now it's very cheap because Ronaldo left the team, so I have this Ronaldo T-shirt. So, as usual, let me know if everything is okay in the in the chat of Twitch. I'll be checking out, trying to answer the questions you you got. And my plan then is to start now with the game. So just let me check if the chat is fine here. Video sound okay? Ah, Seth Zram, thank you for your help and also thanks to Elena for her help because they both tell me everything is fine. So I could, I could start already. So okay, I was white in this game. I will actually try to explain the game and I would like to uh, check a little bit about the time because this is one of the problems I have as a player. I think my time management is not so good. So in this uh, game, we will try to work together what did I do okay or what, what I didn't. So, okay, let's start. So I played e4 in this game. My opponent played e5, but... Uh, ah. Why, why can't I move here? Ah, let me just accept whatever and... Uh, Let's, let's accept this game and then I'll show because I think from, from the other board uh, it will be easier. So let's play against Jack988. Because I think uh, actually, uh, for, if I change the board, then uh, if I go to the analysis board, it's not seen so, so well as now. So we'll do it like this. I'll just play a game and I think I can analyze this game. So it will be better like that. Yeah, people is saying about Spanish or English or whatever, but yeah, for the Spanish speakers, come on. I mean, my English is not very sophisticated, so you can just practice your English, why not? And for the, oh, look at this double attack, very beautiful. It's very unusual to attack a pawn on g3 and a knight on a3. Very unusual. Uh, now, well, I would like to bring a knight to g3, but I'm not really sure how to do that. I'm going to take that knight. I don't know why, but, well, my bishop here on g6 wasn't doing much. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack. Okay, well, let's see if I can do something. Okay, now I have also this square, which is also very interesting. And G2 is... Okay, well, our friend Jack is having some trouble here. Let's remove the mate. So now, if I... If I analyze from here, maybe it's going to work, right? Ah, but I was... I was uh, I was I was black and I want to be white. I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Let's play one more game. Then with Drunken Master. GM Drunken Master. The GM Drunken Master, I'm not sure he's a GM for real. <laughs> it's just the name. GM Drunken Master. This is a very interesting line. It's very fashionable nowadays there's bishop d3 and bishop g5 afterwards drunken master is disconnected oh, okay he's coming back e6 nowadays they even give check to try to play queen a6 
because the queen on a6 is quite annoying here, it wants to change queens. He plays here, then queen b6, knight d2, c5, c4, it's a mess, I don't remember anything, of course, as you can imagine. Mm, but it is a very interesting line, it's very complicated. It's not very good idea to play it if you can't remember the lines, honestly. But okay. Let's say here is not the world championship, so I can just practice. And my opponent seems not to be very familiar with this position as well. Uh, what can I do? I don't know, knight e2, knight f3. I guess this one is okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Ah, if I take the knight d... Knight b4 is a bit unpleasant, so maybe I just castle, and at least now I don't care if I lose some pawns because, okay, then I take here, and I'm not sure how he's gonna develop his pieces, and I can play just e6, I'll have this g6 square for my queen, and I'll just play rook e1 next, I'm not sure even if I should give a check or not. Okay, this one. Or I take an F7? Or. Hmm. Well, let's take here, then Queen F5, Knight G5 is a very interesting idea. Actually. Maybe this move and then. So knight is coming here, also I'm attacking on d5, just in case. And maybe I'll bring one of the rooks to the e-file. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about knight g5, but come on. Why he doesn't care? This looks very unpleasant. Oh, this knight is gonna come somewhere. Okay, maybe the only move is just king e8. But then knight e6, or queen checks, and then knight f7. Probably everything is winning here. Okay, this one I can collect some material already, which is not a bad idea. Maybe there was something stronger, but this is good enough. Okay, let's collect some material. And this game should be... Should be just winning very soon. Uh, I'm gonna bring this rook. It doesn't really matter so much, but I think at least this rook redefends on... It depends on f2, which probably doesn't change anything in this case. Hey, what happens with the connection? Is it okay? A lot of people in the chat. Hey, what happened here? What happened here? I'm disconnected. I don't know what happens. I'm so lucky then, I have some, some problem, not really sure what. Let's have some smoothie at least. <laughs> My opponent is hacking the, the web because yeah? he was lost, so he decided he decided to destroy the website and destroy the world, probably even. Yeah? Well, good. I don't know. What should I say? Mm. Yeah. Well, 
Okay, I don't know what happened. What's happening here? Okay, now I don't know what happened with this game. Probably I lost it. But Hola Paco, hola Hench, what's up? Uh, I don't know, something weird is happening here. No, I don't know. Let's let's wait a couple of minutes. I guess this should be solved. If my if my internet is working, then and then I don't know, something strange happening here. Hey, yeah, I lost. <laughs> what is this? Ah, it's another game against Tapua. But I don't want to play with... Uh... I don't want to play with Black because I want to show this game and I want to play with white so I can show it. Someone... Uh, Morozevich, Eku, is now hosting. <laughs> Thanks, Morozevich. Drunken Master wants to play again. Robert Sell. Okay, let's play a couple of games. Gabrielian, I don't know why everybody wants to play me. Let's play our favorite million pre moves. Oh. Uh, I like this idea for Blitz to put the knight on e4 and then to bring the rook to f6, then h6 or g6, and then try to attack against this guy. What about that? Does it make any sense? Well, it's true that I'm not developing not developing my pieces. And here okay. Maybe to go to d6 so I can move my queen. I mean my bishop is bad here, but his bishop is not a monster neither, right? Now, should I try to bring my bishop to a6? Or not? Or I don't care. I probably don't care. Playing a bit slow. Is it working already? People asking me if it's possible to play with me. Yes, it is possible. Especially if you ask me on Twitch and try to try to ask me and that, that I realize about it, then it's good. What about queen h4? I, I didn't play that. Just forgot about that, but that was very decent. This knight is very bad, this bishop is very bad, but the position is so solid that actually it's very hard to do anything here. Very, very hard to do anything. Maybe to take play g5. That could be an idea. It's not that it's very impressive, but it's something at least. Or play g5 immediately. No, because then he would take and... Okay, let's play like this. And g5, maybe my bishop could go. Ah, I could have played f4 immediately. That was smarter. Probably that was smarter. Try to block his pieces. Okay. Well, let's let's do this. Rook b2, I can go knight of fate. 
My opponent b7 is a little bit weak actually, but I think I can still protect with rook a7 or something like that. But if rook b1, I don't know, if I go knight f8, which would be more logical, then a6 might be unpleasant. So I, I'm gonna go knight b8 here, so then I can go bishop g6, try to annoy his rook. Then I can try to take now, maybe. Okay, one minute only. Let's try to play a bit faster. Need this rook on g6 now. Bishop f3 is a very beautiful threat. Oops! Amigo! Robert Seo! This was very unpleasant. Wasn't it? Oh! No! No. Oh, I totally forgot about this. Oof. I could have played knight c7. I was almost winning in that position. Now I'm completely lost. Okay, let's fight. Oh, I missed that one as well. Someone calling me right now, not the best moment. One on time. Who was calling me? It's not the moment. What's the moment has impressed you the most? The monument. Probably the pyramids in Egypt, in Cairo. Do you win? <laughs> uh, everybody's so strong. Shoko Janki has 2700. What's happening here? Mm, queen c1 or d takes c. What about d takes c5? I oh, know my bishop is saying. <laughs> Wait a second. This guy Shoko Janki is asking me Vallejo. Vallejo Pons. <laughs> Vallejo Pons. Mm. 
well, who could be some other GM Vallejo, but there are not so many Vallejos in these walls. Not sure what I'm doing here. Oh, knight d4. No, yeah. I don't know. Maybe knight d4 was strong. Let's take then play rook e1. Then queen f4, rook e3 is my plan. Then this rook can come here, the other rook can come to e1. I don't see why to change my plans so if he takes here he's gonna change this beautiful bishop so okay can take and play rook e3 and then i protect all my weak pawns and well this guy is also hanging here but by, by now i think this is kind of a priority and eh? try to kill him immediately let's say rook g3 now I'm not sure, uh, maybe this pawn on b7. Yeah, let's take this guy by now. Okay, I have always rook g7. I think there is no need to do that by now. Open c7 is not very impressive, so... Now I need some space for my, ki for my king. So h4 is coming any moment. Okay. I can take here guy but I think it's gonna be very very dangerous because I'm gonna go c4 and then rook g7 is coming maybe I could start with rook g7 he takes I, I go queen f6 king f8 and then I go c4 his only way to stop the mate will be to give the queen but that position should be just completely winning right am I right or not This two in some time, and now this. And if he takes, I'll just take. Or I could just, ah, oh, I could give this check first. It wins some time. And if he takes on c4, I'm gonna give one more check, a couple of more checks, sorry, and then uh, I take here. Now knight e2, knight g3, knight h5 looks better than the usual knight f3, knight g5. I think that should be even stronger. The knight from this square is so strong. Maybe he has rook g4 actually. Rook g4, knight f4. He'll give the a rook very soon, I, I guess. Hmm. But uh, okay, well, what about this move first then? Ah, uh, you can do that. Well, this pawn is dangerous, but it's still quite far. So let's see. Yeah, I'm attacking too many things now. F7, C6 here, Queen G3 coming any moment. He wants to play a revenge, but uh, no. Okay, we start the training. We start the training. So let's go back. If I can move, if I can actually analyze this game, 
Let's see. Wonderful. Okay. So this game was in the Chinese league against Chengdu. Chengdu, some Chinese guy, young guy, 2300. He plays e4, e5. He's, they told me he's a player who likes to play some strange variations, but what happened in this game, he went e5, which is the most solid. Knight f3, knight c6. Bishop c4. I play bishop c4 here because, well, I can play any move d4 or bishop b5 as well. But I decided to play bishop c4 because he had a couple of games where he played bishop e7 here, which is obviously not very challenging. White can easily get some advantage playing d4 afterwards. For example, if he goes bishop e7, just d4, take, take. And this guy on e7 is a little bit passive. But obviously, my opponent in this game played bishop c5, the most solid. So far, of course, I haven't spent any, any minutes. d3, knight f6. Here I spent one minute, so I had like 128 on my clock. I played castle. He played castle. And here I decided to play, I spent like two minutes, which is reasonable if you are not so sure. I mean, I didn't expect this defense from him. So I thought uh, I need to make a decision. There are, sorry, there are these lines with a4, which are very fashionable nowadays, trying to win space on the queen side. There are the, of course, the c3 move, which is the most old line. Uh, then I played knight bd2, and there are moves like rook e1, but rook e1 you need to be a bit careful with knight g4, so h3 is another move. But it, okay, I decided to play knight bd2. Because although the, this move with the knight is not so flexible, it stops basically d5 for, for a while. I think d5 right now it shouldn't be very good. I think probably a move like knight e4, it looks very good because now... I'm not sure about this, but after bishop b6, can I consider to play take, take and play c4? And then this bishop on b6 is kind of in trouble, isn't it? Say something like this, I go c5, and then I go a3, and... Well, I'm not sure if black can survive, but definitely he needs to be very careful about this. And also, of course, it's, uh, white is not forced to do that. So in general, knight bd2 is considered to stop d5. And, well, so what happened here is that he played just d6 and then I could play just c3 and now okay d5 is stopped forever well not forever but at least he's not gonna play he's not gonna play it now that he lost the tempo with d6 and here he went uh, move a6 which is very logical normally in this line always black wants to go to a7 so well you, you stay away from d4 you stay away from different things so in general the bishop is safer on a7 here and it's a good bishop actually because it's working on f2 so actually white needs to be careful in, in this kind of ideas because knight g4 might be annoying even sometimes if you try to go something like rook e2 you need to be prepared for this move this is, this is a very interesting idea king h8 if you go h3 then f5 this is like some kind of new very interesting way to do it but if you take here then they take on g4 they open this file the queen is coming to h4 if i move my knight and this bishop is a monster on c5 so this can really get very very dangerous for white so i wasn't really <laughs> going to allow this obviously just checking the chat for a second yeah they're asking me what about bishop g5 yeah bishop g5 is possible couple of moves ago, I'm gonna put this chat here, uh, it was possible, it's what Vichy is doing, but I think in general they do it with, the, with still with the king on, on e1, even Vichy, I, th I think he castled on the queen side, and of course if you play bishop g5 too fast, uh, the problem might be that sometimes black is going back with the bishop, and now this bishop on h4 feels a bit stupid. Of course, uh, they lost the tempo with the bishop on e7. They, they lost the tempo bishop c5, bishop e7. But on the other hand, now, I would like to have my bishop somewhere else, because the bishop on h4 is quite stupid right now. 
So it makes more sense to put the bishop there once black can uh, have played d6 already, but this didn't happen in the game. As you can see, the game went like that. Castle, castle, and then if I go bishop d5 once more, I need to be prepared for this bishop e7 back. So of course it would be very interesting to play something like c3, then d6, bishop g5. That would make a bit more sense because now g h6, bishop uh, h4, and then if g5, well now we need to analyze this move. Knight g5, who knows what's happening there? It's very very unclear. Even computers very often don't know what's happening. It's so complicated position. Okay, in any case, I played knight bd2, but that of course stops bishop g5 from coming, and then my opponent played d6 c3, a6, that's the game. I played bishop b3 here. Of course, as usual, we need to ask ourselves uh, what is uh, our opponent trying to do? And apart from bishop a7, he has a very interesting threat, which is knight a5, trying to collect the pair of bishops. So that's why bishop b3 is a, is a good move, so I can go away with my bishop if I need to. Even if he goes bishop e6, sometimes it might make sense to go away and try to play d4, d5. That could make some sense as well. Anyway, what happened here in the game was very strange, because here, till now my opponent is playing very solid, and now he plays the move bishop b6. So I'm gonna let you guys think about it for a few seconds and tell me what, what's happening here, what is this move about. Well, so basically this move is strange because normally black is going bishop a7 and there is a reason for that, of course. After bishop b6 you are actually allowing me to go knight c4, although in general I want to put my knight on f1 and then on g3, that's the most typical plan. But lately uh, with a move like a4, with the modern moves a4, knight a3, they also come via c4 or c2. So basically, although I prefer in general to go to f1, g3, c4 is not such a bad square. But here, of course, my opponent is actually provoking me. And of course, I played knight c4. I mean, I win the tempo. He has to go away, not to give me the pair of bishops. And now I need to check what to do. Yeah, of course, bishop b6 is a mistake. It's not a terrible one, but it's not a natural move, of course. And although the knight on c4, I mean, this square on e3 is not so bad anyway. So I think it's not so bad. So, okay, basically here I played bishop g5. And I had to, well, another idea could be to try something like bishop b3. But I wasn't, uh, I wasn't sure about even a move like b5. I wasn't sure about the move like b5, because then if I take on a7, I'm losing a piece. Now, even bishop a4, he can take with the knight now to go away. So, and if I go knight bd2 back, then I don't like this kind of positions. This position with the f file, but he can actually defend quite well here. I think he has moves like bishop e6, but also he has a very interesting maneuver with the knight, bringing the knight to g6, and from here, he will stop most of the attacking ideas, and then later he could try to play c6, d5, for example. So this position is, okay, it's still unclear, of course, but I think white is maybe not better there. But of course, as you mentioned previously, our friends from the Twitch, remember to subscribe and to follow. They wanted to play this idea, bishop g5, but of course, as I mentioned previously, when, when there was bishop e7, it's not so strong, but now it's much more interesting. And basically, okay, I'm putting some pressure here. Uh, this idea is, for example, knight d3, knight d5 could be interesting as well. And basically, okay, I need to be ready on what to do after h6. But what I did here is that uh, I was being quite practical. I think I didn't spend so long for this. Okay, after knight c4, I mean, to play knight c4, I spent like 12 minutes, which is uh, quite a lot for that move because the move is very obvious. 
But it's true that when he played bishop a7, I played instantly bishop g5, and when he played h6, I played instantly bishop h4. And here, I was quite happy about my position, basically because he needs to calculate g5, but I don't have to go so crazy calculating knight g5, because I can simply go bishop g3 and the game goes on. So... So, okay, here, uh, after h6, bishop h h4, my opponent uh, was thinking for a long time. And I decided not to go knight g5, basically, because I wasn't sure. And I thought my position is better with bishop g3. And I wasn't so sure what's happening after this. And this is, I think it's probably good for white, but it's probably not winning. And I mean, normally I want to play a move like king h1, f4. But he has ideas with, okay, first of all, with king g7, rook h8, and then something in h2. Let's say, for example, king g7, king h1, rook h8. And if I go f4, I need to be careful about moves like knight g4. And now, black is threatening mate, and he's threatening f6 as well, trapping my bishop. So I cannot really take the queen because there is mate. And if I go h3, f6, I might be even losing here. So, and also there's this knight f2, so it can be, it can get very dangerous here. So basically, uh, and the other plan that he can have is to play king h7, then rook g8, rook g6. Ah, but here I think it doesn't work, because queen f3 was, then queen, king g6, h4, or queen g3. I don't know, I mean, I need to calculate things here, and I wasn't so sure, and... After I was walking around for a long time because my opponent uh, wasn't sure about playing g5. And finally, I, I decided, I mean, I would not play knight g5. So when my opponent, uh, after 20 minutes or something, he played g5. Basically, I played instantly bishop g3. And I think it was a very, very good practical decision. Because... Uh, Basically, uh, if I spent another 10 minutes, I didn't see in 20 minutes what's going on. Uh, I mean, I wasn't sure what's going on after knight g5. Uh, why to spend my time, more time, to try to calculate that if I'm not sure. So I played bishop g3 here. Mm. And I have 1 hour 11 minutes. He played queen e7. I don't think this is a good move. Why don't you think this is a good move? Propose me a move here for white. And if you were here at the beginning of the transmission of the stream, I told you which is the topic, main topic of this game. It's called X-ray. X-ray. So I let you think for like 20 seconds. So if you want to guess the moves, try to write it down in the in the chat on Twitch. Well, and also of course as I told you the X-ray is the topic. This is the best move probably. The queen is here on e7 and my rook is going to be there. All kinds of tactics are coming. All kinds of tactics are coming any any moment, and you will see it will be important in the future. So I can I played rook e1. Of course, I protect my pawn on e4. I'm pre, I'm um, trying to play d4 here, and it's gonna be very unpleasant. So my opponent played here b5. I went knight e3, and I think this is a good square. Of course, I could have gone back to d2, but in general, I think. My knight is going to be better on e3, and in general, of course, here, uh, I'm trying to play d4, knight d5, winning a tempo, and if he takes on d5, e d5, and this rook is going to be a monster in e1 against this queen. So basically, he has to take on e3, and I took with the rook. Taking with the pawn, it's possible, but it's a bit ugly once I, uh, I move the rook from f1. I, I don't like to... To have the rook on e1, so I will have to come back later to f1. 
Uh, anyway, the, the pawn structure, these doubled pawns are not very, how to say, are not very flexible. You, I mean, these doubled pawns, uh, I mean, prevents my bishops from, from being stronger. So, I don't know. I think it's a good decision to take with the rook. Just a second. So rook e3, and now it's black's move, black to play, he played knight a5, this move is simple, I don't want to give my bishop, so I play bishop c2, now he goes c5, and here it was a very interesting position, I didn't know, honestly, I didn't know how to do it, mm, d4 is not really working, because knight c4 attacks the rook and b2, and it's not so clear, and well, so I want to play d4 someday, but it's not so clear how to do it. And also, another idea he could have is to go bishop g4 or something. So probably the best move here was to play h3. Just to stop bishop g4, knight g4, even, well, of course, g4 is never going to work. Even, even there is these ideas, remember these ideas in this kind of positions. Because if he takes the, the knight... Then there is rook f3, but even if the rook is not here and you have the queen, even this kind of ideas can be very dangerous. He will need to play something like king g7, but normally you have this rook on f1, so you could play something like queen g3 and then f4, and it's going to be made soon. So, but anyway, I played b4 here, which is quite logical. No, I played a3 first, didn't I? Mm, a second. Yeah, no, b4 he could maybe take, so I played a3 first. Knight c6, now b4. And the idea is that uh, I have the possibility to put some pressure on e5, changing this pawn. So he'll be paralyzed, and his uh, king side is a little bit weak, so I, in the future maybe I'll do something against his king. And there is a move here, a5, which he didn't play. Why he didn't play a5? Can you guess that move? Yeah, now Aristo just said a3, then b4. Yeah, nice. Nice guess, Aristo. So, what could happen after a5? Again, I give you 20 seconds. There is a nice positional trick here. Try to guess the move, come on, and write it down, write it on Twitch, so I can congratulate you <laughs> when you guess it right. Yep, uh, Suyu28, wonderful, A4, that's the trick, it's a very typical trick, very typical, very nice trick, especially if he takes here, I'm gonna play B5, I'm gonna have a pass pawn, and the important thing is he cannot jump here on any of these squares, he'll need to go somewhere else, then I'll play here, I'll recover this pawn, and then this pawn on a5 will be very weak, and this pawn on b5 is a monster. His pawn is weak, and my pawn is very good. Yeah. a4 was beautiful, of course. And the idea in general is the same. I'll just always take on c4. Let's say he takes on a1. Then I win a tempo attack in the knight. He'll need to go somewhere. And then I can choose between different moves. It depends where he goes with the knight, but whatever. I could even choose between something like this, opening the position, trying to make my bishops work, or even the move c4, but I don't think it makes any sense to play c4 here, because I, I'm closing the position, I, what I want to do here is to open the position, because his king is worse than mine, so in general I want to take and to play d4, I think that makes a lot of sense, and all my pieces will be putting some pressure on the pawn on e5, and if he takes, of course, this looks so beautiful for white. I mean, all my pieces are so coordinated, so I'll just need to put something like h3 or h4, 
and then just e5 or whatever. This looks just so strong. Anyway, so a5 is not working. This didn't happen in the game. So after b4, he played rook d8. Well, the rook here is decent. He's trying to x-ray me. My queen on d1 is a bit... Uh, I mean, it will be here for a while. But then here I found a very good move. I played h3. That is important, especially important, because if I want to play d4 at any moment, my opponent will probably just take, take, and play bishop g4. And that gives him a beautiful square here on d4, and that will give him a good position. So that's why I played h3. Because now, um, yeah, well, I stop bishop g4 forever. g4 is not really working because it weakens his king a lot, and we spoke about it already. If a move like uh, d5, I remember thinking about this move. Uh, what was happening here? Ah, this was... Ah, okay, I'll let you think here also. So 20 more seconds for our guests in Twitch. Aristolilo likes the stream. Thank you. Think about the move, by the way. After d5, what, how white can play here? Come on, white to play. Mm-hmm. Wonderful move, oof. beautiful move. Ninety-five, take, take. That's what I thought in the game. And this queen is in trouble now. And if he goes something like rook here, then I could go queen e two or queen e one. Maybe both are correct. But he cannot really stop this pressure. Let's say I go whatever. Queen e2, and if knight d7, there is the move c4 also. And he has to go away with the rook, and then we'll take back and we'll be completely winning. Exactly. So, congratulations, Mubuf, you found the move. So, d5 is not working. And what he played here is. What did he play? Mm, he played knight d7. And here I found a beautiful move, once more. Beautiful positional move. Yeah, Aristo is right, yeah. Well, 85, no, but uh, yeah, 95 was the tactical move, yeah, it was stronger. So here again, very important move. Well, so one of the uh, questions we ask ourselves constantly in chess is what my opponent wants to do here, he, he seems to, want to come to b6, for example, he probably wants to have the possibility to play f6 or f5 in the future to hold this position. So basically his threats are not very impressive. And uh, so how can we improve our position? Speak to your pieces, yeah? the, the famous speak to your pieces. I mean, our bishop on g3 we cannot really improve. Our knight on f3 was well, hard to say. Our rook on e3, I'm not sure where it's, where it's better, rook on e1 or rook on e3. From e3 sometimes could come to this third rank, I don't know. The rook on a1, I'm not really sure where to go. The queen also, I mean, so basically I only found one piece which has a very, very easy way to improve his position. a4. Well, a4 could be. Could be a move, but I'm not sure if it's helping so much. Let's say he goes something like rook b8, then you can take, take, and we'll have a problem b4 now. It could be possible, but I'm not really sure it's so strong. It's not so logical. It's not so logical. The move I played, I'm, I'm happy with it, because it's a very logical move. Yeah, bullet, bullet 90 found the move, bishop b3. Normally, this move was... Uh, not so good because after bishop b3 he'll go bishop b6 he'll change our bishop and he'll uh, kill our pair of bishops you know pair of bishops is so important in chess 
So I was waiting for him. Well, I was waiting. I mean, he played this move, so this allows me to go bishop b3. Now this bishop here improves his position a lot. It's a very, very interesting move. So I would like to reposition the knight to g4 via h2. Well, that's, that's an idea, but uh, yeah, I mean, that could be an idea also. Knight h2, knight uh, g4, yeah, but somehow I don't have the feeling that's the best plan because then I will never play d4, and this is one of my ideas, to play d4 someday, open the position. If I keep playing a close position, then I don't really use my bishops. I mean, I want to use my bishops, so I want to open the position with d4 someday, probably. So that's why, I mean, in general, I'm not uh, so big fan about knight h2. It's not a bad move, but I think bishop b3 is kind of stronger. For bishop b3, in this moment, I, I spent a lot of time, by the way, with the move uh, a3, b4, because I didn't really know what to do in that position. And we should be three. I spent like five minutes. Yeah, that's a bit too much, maybe, because I think it's pretty easy move somehow. I mean, there is not so much to think about here. It's just uh, you put your bishop there, and it's okay. Game continues. He played bishop g7. Sorry, king g7. Yeah, well, I mean, in the other position after king h, uh, knight h2, the king on g7 could be good as well, because then queen h5, he has this move knight f6 back. Yeah? Time control was like 1 hour 30 minutes for the whole game, and they give you 30 seconds extra per move. Okay, here then he played king g7, which, which is quite logical. Because he doesn't want to be on this diagonal. No, not three minutes, come on. <laughs> this was a serious game. Serious game in the Chinese league. So king g7. And here... No, I didn't play knight h2. I played... Bishop d5. And that's a very logical move because now the bishop will be almost untouchable. First of all, I'm winning a tempo. I'm pinning the knight here. So basically forcing him to go bishop b7. Now he's still pinned. And not only that, but after bishop b7, I thought to do something else, something very, very interesting here. I want to still play in the future maybe some d4. But this, this bishop is untouchable here. Even if he comes and take on this d5, he will open this e file. So this this bishop is almost untouchable. And also, by the way, if he goes here somewhere knight b6, I can still take, take, and this then this pawn on e5 will be hanging. Exactly. So everything is prepared. The position is getting ready for something more aggressive. So how do you continue? Now it's a very interesting move as well. All these moves are very important. Bishop b7. And now what to do with white? How do we continue the game? Dragon Wrath is saying, is this subscribers only or you can send a challenge? Well, you can say the challenge, but basically, right now, we are just analyzing a game. I'm showing a game I played in the Chinese League. So, I recommend you to try to guess the moves, try to understand what's happening here, better than just uh, waiting for playing against me. Which happens very often, by the way. I mean, I play very often against the users, and tomorrow at the same time, like today, I'll be again here. Well, is this the moment for d4? It could be, could be the moment for d4, but I was very excited about another move, and uh, I didn't play d4. I didn't. Sorry to disappoint you guys. Sorry to disappoint you. It looks kind of good, yeah. Also, but I was very happy about this move, h4. What do you think about that?
now that the bishop is not here, g4 looks much more dubious. Yeah, after g4, probably I can even go here, then f3. This guy is going to suffer too much. And basically, I have a lot of... Uh, a lot of ideas now especially I'm gonna use my rook yeah on on the third file the third uh, rank so um, he played f6 trying to hold the position I took here I'm not sure taking here was uh, so correct because I could have waited a bit more maybe play d4 immediately or something but I was very excited, honestly, I was very excited about which move here. Which move I was excited about? Come on. Tell me. Tell me the move. Why was I so happy about this position? Well, if he plays g4, yeah, if he plays g4 previously, I had the move knight h, knight h, so someone's proposing that in the chat. But what about this position? Mobuf again told me the correct move, knight h4, I guess, yeah, knight h4. So this idea is so strong, knight f5, that basically black is forced to take the knight. Then comes check. If he goes to f8, then there is made on g8. That's beautiful. So basically, he needs to go back. Then comes bishop h4. And then basically, the beautiful thing is that I can pre move rook h3. No, that's too slow. Aristo wants to bring the rook to e to h1 but that's too slow because you need two tempos but you have this rook already here on e3 so that's much more efficient and basically the funny thing is that after even a move like rook g8 i could play rook h3 and rook g4 bishop f6 mate and that is just wonderful that is just wonderful yeah so basically against any other move i'll have lots of tricks here but even a move like let's say queen d7 and once more this is made so knight h4 is very beautiful so that's why my opponent took with the f pawn and now knight h4 is not working anymore because now he'll go to h8 and this this file is not open yeah so basically knight h4 is not working now yeah knight h4 is it was a beautiful idea so he took fg5 and now what did i do i took here on c5 that's an interesting move as well i want to try to open the position a lot already if he takes here I'm not sure what I wanted to do now, but basically he'll be paralyzed with all his pieces because he can never move the knight because then I can take and take on e5. So then, then he will be just basically paralyzed here. And uh, well, so that's why he took on c5 with the knight. Then I played finally d4, what we are all expecting all the time. He played knight d7. And here. So this is the kind of position you need to be careful because sometimes we want to win immediately. I mean, here everything looks so ready for some sacrifice, but maybe it's not so obvious actually. His pieces are still protecting the squares and it's not so simple. I mean, all these kind of tricks. So I actually, I was quite uh, happy with my play here because I kept playing. I didn't hurry to try to finish the game. I just kept putting some more pressure. I played a4. So a4, okay, I can play rook b1. I want all my pieces working slowly. I'm, I mean, all my pieces slowly, I'm, 
are working very well. My rook on e3, I like it because it can do a lot of things. My bishop and my knight on f3 and g3 are putting pressure on e5. And now, so basically, I want this rook to work as well. And then I will decide where this queen is going. Yeah, a4 is nice. I had only 19 minutes here, which is a bit unpleasant because then you can start to get in, in time travel. But my position is already so good, that's true. He played knight f6. Here I played a strange move, a little bit strange, not so. But I don't think it's a natural. I think it's. Uh, I mean, I didn't like my queen to be on this file, on the d file. So I put it somewhere else. Oops, my phone. Yeah, queen b3, queen f1, everybody's trying to move the queen, as I said. I put queen b1, which I think is logical. I go away of this d file, I put some pressure on b5. I'm not sure which one was better. Uh, it could be, but queen b3 I don't like because it gives this knight a5 possibility. Queen f1, could be, could be a move. I just played queen b1. I'm, I'm, not sure it's the best move, but it looks very decent to me. How did the game continue? Play through uh, knight g4 now. Okay, now I'm, I'm forced to go back. So I went rook e1. He took on a4. I didn't see anything better. I mean, he's covering now from g4, he's covering this e5 pawn. So I decided to just take the pawn. Now this pawn is isolated, I can put some pressure on the pawn. I'm not hiring to win the game, and which positional threat could I have? At some point I have this threat, yeah? c4, c5, trying to destroy his center, and then this king will be so weak. So after rook a4, he played rook d7. What is he trying to do? Well, probably he wants to do knight d8. Uh, that's why he played rook to d7. Otherwise, this move would make not so much sense. And here I played rook a2. Well, the rook here can go to b2, put some pressure. And why I didn't go to a1, you'll see very soon. Because my opponent played knight d8. And here, how do you play with white? Once more, try to guess. Try to guess the move. Try to guess the move. Try to follow GM Vallejo on Twitch. Try to subscribe also to GM Vallejo on Twitch. Very important for today. And tomorrow, remember, at the same time, we'll be working on chess a little bit more. We'll be doing maybe some blades, some commented games. So, what could be the move here? Guys, I don't see any proposals yet. I don't see any proposals. So I'm going to give you 10 seconds. If no one is fast enough, then I'm going to continue. 10 seconds. Rook a5. Aristo, well, that's a move, but I mean, we don't want to take with the rook here. I'm not so, I'm not so sad if he takes on d5, I can take with the e pawn and open this rook, right? So basically, rook d, uh, bishop d5 is not such a strong threat because we'll take e d5 and this rook will be opened. Yeah, suyu28, bravo, c4. Yeah, I like this move. Because now if he takes on d5, we'll, we'll still take with the e pawn because we want to open this e file. And also now you can understand why I put my rook 
on a on a2 instead of a1 because now I could even double the rooks on the e file. Yeah. Exactly. The idea is to play e d5, then rook e2, put a lot of pressure on the e file. And let's see how the game continued. He played here. And he played rook b8. And now another beautiful move. And that's the picture of the game, actually. That's the the, the moment what that really shows the, the whole strategy of the game, the most interesting position is here, actually. Now you realize how slowly my pieces were putting pressure and pressure and pressure. This E file is very important. Now his rook is, uh, came finally to the B8. So he's now on X-ray with a bishop. And now is my 303, he found the, bra the brilliant move and also Alberto Muniz. Queen A1. Yeah. Well, I, I have to say Alberto, maybe he remembers that we spoke, I told him about this game. And I told him about, about so how beautiful X-ray position we had here. Look how all my pieces are trying to put some pressure on e5 especially but behind this pawn on e5 there is there is his king there is his queen and there is his rook and smaller pieces of mine i mean the bishop is threatening the rook the queen is threatening his king and the rook is threatening uh, my queen on e1 to his king and the rook on e1 to, to his queen on e7 so this is a beautiful picture nice very nice queen a1 move beautiful he went here, knight f7. What is holding his position now? He's holding with everything. He's holding with everything on, on e5. And still our rook is, is here. It has potential, but it's, the, this uh, file is still not open. So what to do now after knight f7? The game is over very soon, actually. Suyu says c5, Mugwuf says bishop f7. Let's give the others 10 more seconds to try to guess. But basically, yeah, you got the idea. The idea is to try to... Bishop f7 is probably winning as well, but somehow it's only collecting a pawn, and we want more than that. We want more than that, so that's why I played c5 in the game. We want to open... We want to, if he takes on c5, then we'll take here. Then the move e6 will be just killing. Aristo loves the move rook a5. <laughs> Every move you propose rook a5. <laughs> well, no, c5 is, is beautiful because it blows the defense. All his, all his defenders basically are going to get destroyed. Also, apart from that, I'm threatening c6 now. Yeah? Threatening c6. So he played take on d5, with, I took on d5, and now I'm threatening to take and take, so he played e4. And one move and he resigned. Just the last move of the game. Which is the last move of the game. There will be one more picture. Yeah? I mean, he's still not threatening anything because his queen is pinned. And we have a lot of potential in this position. Of course, this guy is hanging, but uh, it's not a priority in the position. We want to make use of all these pieces, especially the king, g7, queen, e7, and rook, e8. Rook, a2 would be a nice move, but I thought I'm winning just directly here. So basically, I played a very simple move. I just took on d6. I didn't mind to have my pawns tripled. Very beautiful, actually, to have triple pawns. It's not so often that you get triple pawns. And basically, the idea is to play knight e5, and his position is going to just collapse. 
let's say for example he plays the the natural move knight d6 then i go knight e5 and basically i'm threatening the knight and the rook yeah cd exactly cd6 hench and uh, if he takes now on e5 then i'll take with the pawn he goes away with the knight then i'll give a check and he's basically losing everything he's losing absolutely everything so knight e5 is just killing and for example after this I could take the rook, then I could take the pawn, this pawn, then this rook on b8 is pinned, and everything is just falling apart. So basically, after cd6, my opponent resigned. And it was a very beautiful game, actually, from the Chinese League a uh, few days ago. A few days ago. After that, I went to Hong Kong for a while. Interesting city, very interesting. But it was raining so much there that I could have enjoyed more if the weather was a bit better, but still very interesting city. Okay, anyway, uh, let's play a few games. So now is the moment. If you guys want to play with me, you can write me here in the chat of Twitch. And uh, I'll be playing a little bit, yeah? But this was an interesting game. So let me know also in your comments if you like to... If you like me to comment games, if you prefer to just play Bleeds, but I think uh, showing some game, it's interesting actually. I mean, I think it's uh, people can enjoy, people can try to guess the moves, can try to understand chess a bit better, try to... I mean, and, and this was actually a very, very nice game. It was played very, very nicely. Even not so... Even not so deep moves like rook a2, finally, I mean, it made a lot of sense with this queen a1, c4, these ideas with rook a2, rook a e2. So, a lot of deep uh, positional ideas in this game, a lot of strategy, and a lot of tactics as, as well. So, it was, it was a nice game. I'm quite proud of it. Okay, so. Uh, exactly. It was not a blitz game. It was a serious game. It was a long game, and that's why the quality is, of course, not a blitz game. It's not the same. That's why showing such game is going to be much more deep than showing uh, all. I mean, the blitz games or something. So I'm going to play Capacho for a start from Spain. Let's remove him a bit. I don't know what he's doing there. Well, one of the problems of this position is to find a good spot for the bishop. Now I think I can easily play here, put bishop on b2. Otherwise, there is no good square for this bishop. Then now I want to improve my queen and my rook will probably come rook fd1. Hey! Amigo Capacho, what are, what are you doing? Just uh, thought you can give me a rook like that. Okay. I'm going to play here just to change a couple of pieces. Mm. Suyu28 is saying you play subscriber only. Uh, not really. No, I can play with anyone. If you challenge me at chess.com, I can play anyone. But that's a good idea. In the future, one day we'll do to play subscribers only, but not today. <laughs> yeah. I win the tempo here today. I mean, my bishop is hanging, but I can still play rook fd1 now to come back. Okay, let's continue to attack his weaknesses. Hmm, e4 now. But okay, I'm a rook up, it doesn't really matter so much. Vertwitch. Ver Twitch, it means like watch Twitch in Spanish. 
not sure if that was the sense of Vertwitch, but Vertwitch is also here. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Suyu, for subscribing. Thanks. Oh, okay, he resigned here. Thanks, Capacho. And Vertwitch was watching uh, the stream, so let's play him. He's also a premium member on chess.com. Usuario no disponible. Aristo, Lilo, are you an E4 player? Well, I play E4, D4 without any problems. I can play anything. It doesn't mean I know everything, but it means I can do it <laughs> and feel good with myself. And Suyu wanted to play me. I see Suyu is a Fide Master from India. So probably some Indian kid who is strong or something. So we are going to play him later. Ah, Capacho. <laughs> okay, Capacho. Bishop D7 is a bit strange. Would make more sense to start with Knight F6, yeah. But so far, so good. Nothing wrong with what you're doing, nothing very wrong. Just developing pieces. Der Bach Ali. Ah, okay. From DZ. Where are you from, Ali? DZ. What is this country? I've been to many countries, but many of these countries that people is challenging, challenging me from. Ah, Mubuf is from Catalonia. I see here. Mubuf, if you want to play me, you're a premium member as well. If you want to play me, please uh, challenge me on 3 0, not 3 plus 2, because then I have more time to play more people. Just trainer from Egypt. Ah, Algeria. Ah, nice. I haven't been there. But I have a friend from Algeria who lives in Mallorca, actually. He, he's living in Mallorca from some long time already. But he's a good friend of my family. Hmm... What is Bird Twitch saying? Do you watch me hammer stream two? Mr. Hammer stream two. <laughs> you can get ideas from him. Yeah. Hey, what is this? Why? Why do you give me your bishop? Come on. You were playing a good game and now you go you go crazy. There was no need to give me this bishop. I have a million challenges from India. Okay, I'm gonna eliminate this knight before it's too late. Now I'm gonna play c4. I was afraid of e4, e5, e4 coming. That's why I play c4 immediately, trying to destroy his center. Now he needs to be careful. Queen d5, bishop c4. Be careful of this, about this diagonal where twitch. Ah. Well, knight d5. Okay, now you were giving me this trick. I think this trick is actually very nice. Now I give you a check with d6. Mm, you don't have a chess club in Algeria, I see. Well, you maybe you can create one. Maybe you can create one. I think chess is growing all over the world nowadays. 
So let's play against uh, Ali. Let's play against Ali from Algeria, right? No, yeah, yeah, okay, your move. Ah, Suyu, yeah, I have to play against you as well. So is strong. Some Sicilian. Let's try to remove a few moves. One guy played here bishop g5 and I removed a6. I lost my queen. Why do you play instantly bishop e3 here? Mm. Well. Kokinakos from Greece. Actually, yeah, I might be going to Greece soon. Actually, yeah. Hey, you forgot the question. What is my opponent threatening? Always ask yourself. I mean, of course, grandmasters do that automatically. We are not in the game saying constantly what, what my opponent uh, is threatening, but we do it automatically. So try to ask yourself also. You play b3, you threaten my knight, so I'll go away. <laughs> A leader patch. Yeah. <laughs> Amigo. Be careful with queen h7. Hmm, now I need to be careful, that's true. Bishop f2, wait a second. Ah, he takes, no, sorry, he plays king h1, and if knight g3, h3, okay, let's, let's play that for fun, but it's not really working. But just for fun, let's see how he reacts. Knight g3, he has queen g3. TVZZ to Z. Just subscribed. Thanks, TV. Oh, he found the move. Everybody plays so strong nowadays. I can't uh, play for cheapos anymore. Okay, I'll not do that again. <laughs> yeah, GMs, we often see the threats made in one move. That's true. It's very annoying. Okay, let's take here. Or not. Mm. Not sure what to do. No, let's go. Ah, I have no time. He's putting so much pressure on me. He plays very fast. I don't know why his rating is not so big. Taking with the knight was strange. Could have taken with the bishop and then, then take on f6. Now he has no time to take the pawn on f6. And his bishop is a bit in trouble now. That was a good move. But I think black is doing fine now. Uh, Twitch Prime is not available in India, really? Make a complaint to Twitch. Mm. 
threatening rook c2 yeah now I'm threatening to take everything and then to promote hey what is this okay thanks Ali so I wanted to play uh, this guy from India, but I don't see him anymore. So you, so Basia, no Baslia, Baslia, strong guy from India. Be careful with India. Ah, now you challenge me, so you. But you always challenge me when I accepted someone else. This was my game with short in the Thailand Open. It was a very, very interesting game. Maybe I will show it someday. Queen a5, queen rook c8, I'm not sure what to do. Hmm, someone calling. I need to be careful about this knight d5. I need to be careful about that. I need to develop my pieces finally. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe he wants to come with f5. Queen somewhere. Maybe queen a5 and then bishop a3 might come. This bishop is a monster on d5. He might just sacrifice any moment. Okay, bishop a3 I like. Try to create some counterplay. <laughs> Okay. Hey, what about this sacrifice here? Is it working? He takes, I take on a2. He can go maybe king d3 or something. Mm, I have the feeling it works. Let's see. Maybe my feeling is wrong. But I have a feeling it's very, very interesting. I take here, after king d3, I'm gonna go just castle. I'm gonna go just castle. And now, okay, I have a couple of pawns. If f6, I'm gonna go just g6, and then I'm gonna try to bring my rook into the attack. Also, these pawns are kind of weak. He, he might need to try to play, to play for mate, but I think he's not in time for that. I hope I'm right. I thought I had this move. Maybe, maybe I was too optimistic here. I don't know. But okay, this should be the move. Queen C2. King here, queen e4 or queen c5. Wow. <sighs> I 
I'm not sure what am I doing here. Lucito. Lucito, he will play here. Oh, I'm losing on time. What a pity. Yeah. No, I, I forgot about the time. Not sure what to do. I'm lost also. Queen G6 wins immediately. No, I completely forgot about the time. It was so interesting this game. It was so interesting that I just no, I'm completely lost also. No, he he played a good game. Nothing to say about it. Nice, nice game. Uh, let me see. Here, I'm not sure. It was so interesting. I mean, of course, this was maybe a bit too optimistic. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. Rook C2. What should What should I do here instead? Yeah, but on the other hand, if I go castle, he can go bishop d3, he stops rook c2 forever, and then this f6 and mating attack will be very unpleasant. So maybe my position is not so good. Okay, maybe I should have gone something like king f8, but I think uh, white is definitely better here. I thought this is very interesting, I'm not sure. Here, here. Ah! I didn't play that. Okay, I took here first. Might make sense here. And now I didn't take on b3 neither. I played here. f6. Yeah, I'm not sure if that works. Maybe I was too optimistic. Maybe I, I was too optimistic here. Here, 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 here. Yeah, but I was lost anyway. I mean, they say even I had some rook c4 in that final position, but it doesn't matter. I was lost. I mean, after this king e3, probably I'm just lost already. So, good game. Congratulations to Mr. Bali Baslia Baslia from India. Nice game. Let's see if I can play another Indian, Suyu, and get crushed once more. Suyu 28. Ah. Let's see. Feed the master. From India, I don't know, and the picture is a bit small. Yeah, Baslia. You're welcome. Don't crush me again if we play again. Next time you have to lose. <laughs> ah, knight c3. Okay. Can I play bishop d6 because I need to protect my pawn? Okay, let's say I go here. If bishop f4, I will go back. If bishop f4, I will go bishop e7. The bishop on f4 combined with the knight on h3 is a bit strange. So, what should I do now? Maybe h6, g5? No. That's a bit too much. I have some guests around. When will be the next stream, Master? Tomorrow at the same time. Tomorrow exactly like today. That will be the same. At the same time, exactly. Let me just check for tomorrow. But... Look at this guy here. <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Ah, yeah, ahora vamos. It's my nephew. Ah, rook pd1. Yeah, this, the stream, next stream will be tomorrow at the 5 o'clock Spanish time. Mm, yeah, same time. Sí. 
Okay, so he goes bishop c1. This pawn on c4 is kind of. Give me the pawn. Yeah, my nephew, he he can play, but he's so, too lazy. That's the problem. He can play chess, but he's so lazy. He wants to go to the swimming pool. So if I'm leaving the stream, it will be his fault, you know? <laughs> he's trying to tell me to go to the swimming pool. Some music. Hmm. Oh, again, I have no time. I'm playing with my nephew, speaking, writing on the chat. Okay, let's try to win this game. <laughs> it's from my brother. Bishop h5, bishop f8, and now I can play like this. Ah, oh, amigo! I don't care about this rook. I don't care. Ah, I forgot about this pawn. Oh! No! I forgot about the e6 pawn. Aquí. Vamos pronto, mamá. Espera un segundo. Momento. Okay, great game to finish the stream. Suyu28. So, thanks for watching. Haha, <laughs> yeah, adopting someone here, sure. So thanks for watching and see you tomorrow at the same time. So five o'clock uh, the time of Madrid. I'll be in Menorca anyway, next to the sea, beautiful place, beautiful island to visit, of course. So see you tomorrow at the same time. And let me know if you want me to comment another game or you want me just to do something else. I don't know, whatever. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.